Hey guys, my name is Alexander Solopov and today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways how to improve your panoramic images in Cyclone Register 360. So first of all you need to know that you could implement different filters and correct contrast, saturation, gamma, brightness etc. directly in the Cyclone Register 360 or Cyclone Core. But you should notice that uh, this tool works only with HDR images. Thanks to RTC 360 all images include HDR. So it could be easily to adjust uh, the colors, uh, tones, etc. So for editing colors, uh, click the right mouse button on the setup in the tree view and choose Edit HDR image. In the appeared window, you could select uh, different pre-setups filters. They are representing different tone mapping algorithms. So you need just to choose one of these filters that you liked and then pull down the menu with selectable parameters Contrast, Saturation, Gamma, Brightness, etc. and adjust each of them one by one. After all the corrections will be done you could choose how way to apply these adjustments just uh, for the current image or for the entire project and click the OK button. Also there is a big grade tool that allows you easily adjusting tones based on the selected gray color. To use this tool click uh, the pick gray button and then double click on the gray color on the image. Uh, to see the changes move the parameter slider a little bit to any side and you will see how Cyclone uh, has improved your color tones. When adjusting the panoramas we also changed the point clouds which means uh, that we were able to get more suitable point clouds for our tasks better auto images or color triangulation models etc. Alright, now the image looks much better, but what if you don't have HDR image uh, information in your image or you need more tools to highlight all details in the image or maybe you would like to add some additional information on it? For that cases you could export your image into external raster graphics editor used for image manipulation, retouching and image editing. I'll be using GIMP software for that because uh, it's uh, free and open source. But you could use Photoshop or any other you liked. Ok, let's export our panoramic image with the right mouse uh, button, click on the current station and choose the export panoramic images and then export JPG. Also you could select any number of station and do all the same things for them at one time. Choose the destination folder and you will get your panoramic images in JPG format. You should notice that for export panoramic images you should have the Cyclone Publisher Pro license. Ok, run the GIMP software and just drag and drop your image there. In the software you'll be able to do a lot of different stuff like adjusting color and tones, blending images, highlighting features and details, editing information and deleting redundant elements. Uh, for instance, let's correct colors at uh, navigation symbol and some text. When all corrections are done, save the current image in the same format as it was before. GPG. In register 360 right click on the setup bundle, choose the Ray import panoramic images tool and select the folder that contains the panoramic images. The naming must match uh, the export name and the aspect ratio must be the same for successful re-import. Now you got uh, adjusted panoramas with additional information, but don't forget that point cloud changes its color based on these panoramas. Therefore you could see unwanted effects in the point cloud. That's why I recommend you add additional elements only in space without point clouds like sky, windows or dead space under the scanner. Once we know that uh, we can color the point clouds any color we want, uh, we can use this feature for additional scenarios. Let's imagine that we have colored all the elements in the panoramas uh, in the color corresponding to the element layer. This is a kind of manual classification. After importing these images into register C60, we ended up uh, with a hand colored point cloud. Now we can segment it by color in Cyclone 3DR with one click. Using a segmented point cloud greatly speeds up and simplifies your entire project digitizing process. I hope this video was helpful. If you missed something, you could find detailed explanation in the link below. If you have some questions, you could send me an email or just leave a comment. So thanks for watching and see you next time. <laughs>